Hello, 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 and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So any questions on services that I provide, um, Patreon, all of that fun stuff, down below. Whew. So we are back with water signs. So that is Scorpio Cancer Pisces. This is your weekly reading. Self-reflection, whether you like it or not. You're going to have to face your own demons, and you are going to have to... Live a will live, live. Oh, ooh. so heavy. Live with the consequences of your choices. Some of you have gotten into certain situations, whether romantic connections, work connect, um, work, work relationship, whatever it is. You have gotten yourself into something and. It, at first, it started as something kind of like a little vacation, something different, something ah type of thing. And as things progressed faster and things um, start to escalate or start to move very quickly, the more you see of how you're not truly happy. But it's like now you have to keep up this facade of being happy because you have taken things to another level with a person. Or within a situation, maybe you took a promotion at work. We're just focusing the camera and our energy on the candle and water. Maybe you took a, another position at work and um, maybe you weren't ready for it. Or maybe you got into a connection that you were really not ready for. But because things move so quickly and um, now you don't know how to get out of it. So during the day, um, a lot of you water signs are pretending that everything is okay. Are pretending that everything is fine. But when you're by yourself and you have to really face what what it is that you have done, the people that you have hurt, um, everything that you have done up to this point, every single step that you have taken, every single um, connection that you've had, and everything, it's like you you know that where you are at or who you're with does not fulfill you and some of you water signs are trying to suppress that and again feel free to reverse the roles however you want are trying to suppress that by pretending that everything is okay or by pushing it or forcing something that is not there and it's not so much that the person that you're in the connection with is bad is a bad person or whatever it's just they're not the person that your heart belongs to but everyone around you, everyone that is surrounding you is telling you that they are perfect for you. So therefore, you want to keep that facade on. The person that you long for, you you may either be spying on them or maybe checking up on them, trying to see what they're up to, trying to see if they have somebody new, trying to see what's going on, um, if there's an opportunity or a chance for you to come back in or whatever. But as you know as the energies have been coming in for you water signs it's like there's more of a there this is a time for you to transition and unfortunately some of you uh, are missing the point that this is if if you haven't healed from past relationships or past connection jumping into another connection jumping into another um, relationship is not going to fix the issues or the problems that are inside because what is going to happen is the same issues, the same problems that you had in the other's relationship, you're going, you're bringing on, you're bringing on, and you're just adding to it. So it's like you're bringing in, oh God, this is so heavy, this energy. You're bringing in more baggage. You're bringing in more, more things into new connection, and in a, in a way, kind of leaving a trail of, of heartbreaks and pain behind. And then when all of that catches up to you and it's your time to face that judgment and it's your time to face the karma some of you are facing it this week and some of you are going to get to a point where you are you're going to go you're going to spiral so out of control and so down because you're not you're not going to be able to accept the consequences of your actions because for so long you got away with so many things and now that with everything that is happening with with within the world with the planets with the alignments and everything things are getting balanced out 
and all of the people that you hurt, all of the people that you took advantage of, all of the people that you mistreated, all the people that you destroyed willingly, all of that is coming back around to balance out. And there's going to be a lot of, like, I feel that a lot of you water signs have been having kind of like misfortune or unluck, unlucky with things. Like, you know, with physical things, um, you know, cars, houses, housing issues, or this issue, your computer breaking down, this breaking down. It's like, you kind of feel like it's one thing after the other. And it's like, you can't kind of get yourself out of this unlucky streak that you have been on and the unlucky streak is going to continue until you go ahead and you face your own demons you go ahead and you heal what it is that has to be healed you go ahead and you find that balance within yourself and a lot of you water signs because you are so emotional because you're so affectionate you feel that in order to find that balance you have to find it with somebody else or within someone else and that time is that is over what you're going to do is that you're going to attract people that are exactly like you people that are exactly out there to hurt other people intentionally and are going to feel what you have put other people through Ooh, water signs there's a lot of your past a lot of past and there's a lot of you know we talk about like karma and stuff like that there's a lot of karma and it's all coming in at once so it's going to feel like you're going to you're going to get to that point by the end of this week that you feel so defeated. And some of you water signs are going to go, want to go into that space or into those energies of wanting to blame other people, wanting to blame everyone else. But at the end of the day, it's like, again, you're being forced to look at your own actions and look at what it is, how every single day, how you chose to live your life, every single thing that you chose to do has gotten you to the point where you're at. And nobody but yourself is responsible for where your life is at the moment. And some of you are longing for someone. Some of you are wanting to reach out to someone, someone that makes you feel safe, someone that makes you feel like home. And like, I'm about to cry because it's like some of you cannot even reach out to that person anymore you don't have that safeguard anymore and it's sad it's sad it it's like this kind of like heavy sorrow that it's like if i cannot be with that person then i'm going to be with whoever whoever comes along and what you're doing is that you're creating more karma for yourself because in a way you're going into a connection with somebody that you have no real intention of being with but again it's like things are going to move so quickly either you know you guys are going to either decide to move in right away or decide to get married or decide to have a kid or get pregnant or whatever it is and it's like by the time you wake up by the time you realize how deep you're into it you don't even know how to get yourself out of and a lot of you are going to get a surprise pregnancy and if you are a male and that person that is saying that they're pregnant by you one either they're not pregnant and they're trying to get pregnant or two if they are pregnant it's not yours and if you are a female you're going to get pregnant but you are going to go ahead and tell the wrong person intentionally that the kid is there not the other person because you just want someone to love you and accept you how you are because whoever it was in your past that accepted every single part of you accepted your demons even when you were unaware of recognizing them within yourself because you let that because that person took kind of like their authority and their power back and withdrew and decided that they were not going to play the game anymore because they did that then now you're face to face your own demons this week and you're having a really hard time because even in the past the person from the past will kind of help you kind of maneuver to get to the point where it is and now you're feeling extremely lost and extremely um out of sort not knowing which direction to take and just kind of pushing through and where you are at when it comes to romantic connections because you can't have the person that you want and it's very heavy. It's very, it's kind of like, it's all building up. It's kind of like, it, it keep on being like bubbling, bubbling. Like, you know, when you put water to boil, it's like, it's just boiling and boiling and boiling. And it's like, um, if you keep on boiling, it eventually is going to evaporate, but eventually it's going to be gone. 
And it's like, that's what you're feeling. It's like you're losing yourself because you're not being honest with, your, with yourself. You're losing yourself because you're not, you're not following your heart. Water signs, what is going on with you guys? If things, if memories or things from the past are coming through, then try and see what it is that they're trying to teach you. Or try and see what it is that you were supposed to learn. And there is no shame in admitting that you were wrong. And there is no shame in telling someone or letting someone know how you truly feel. Be careful who you are messing around with or who you're sleeping around with. Um, there can be a physical altercation with that person's other person or one of that person's other people or whatever it is. It's, it's going to be a rough week for your water signs. And again, feel free to reverse the roles. If, you, if you're not going through this, maybe it's your ex or whatever it is, but that's the energy that's coming through. Um, there is going to be, a, it's going to be a rough week because so you, either you're seeing someone or someone is seeing you receive blessings, whichever it is. But there is somebody that's kind of just standing there kind of being like, damn, that could have been me with them type of thing. And whoever it is that I feel that is receiving these blessings or, the, or is manifesting, whatever it is, um, they're not so much doing it with anybody. It's kind of like they're standing on their own, like receiving everything based on what they have put in, based on what they sacrificed, based on what they healed. You, some of you on um, water signs feel like you have lost control or power over someone. And you do not like that. You don't like the fact that you are no longer in control over that person. Either this person has completely blocked you out of their life. Like this person um, has just taken themselves completely out of your life. Mm. So sad. But you know what? Looking at looking at your own, like, you know, staring in the mirror and looking at your own reflection, looking at what it is that you have learned, what it is that, where it is, the areas that you have grown and, and things like that. I really do feel that that is going to be your best option um, this week on um, Water Signs to really look ahead and reflect on what it is that you, the choices that you have made in the past and how you've gone up through things. And I apologize for the noise. The dogs are in the room with me. And really getting into a, a place and a space where you are starting to take accountabilities for your actions. That is really the goal for you this week, Water Signs. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out three Oracle cards. We're going to pull out one for Scorpio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone needs to say something and it's holding back. <clears throat> Cancer and Pisces. So we're using the Rebel deck, the Oracle with um, Attitude. So I'm going to pull one out for Ooh. These are the cards that are used as a center and center energy or the main energy for the weekly extended that are posted on Patreon. Um, if I do release this video tonight, um, Sunday, the Patreon videos will not be posted until Monday after like seven or eight o'clock in the morning. So Scorpio, are you guys the ones that don't want to say anything? Okay. All right. So this is. Because I have three cards right here. <sighs> Alright. You do you. 
Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. So again, this is water signs. You are meant to look into self-reflection this week. Don't worry so much about what other people have done. Don't worry so much about how other people react or whatever it is. What have you done? What have you... What are the consequences that you are suffering now because of your own action? If you continue on focusing so much on what other people are doing or what other people haven't done, etc., etc., you're going to be stuck in the same place. Um, Scorpios, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here is... Here is... Here... Here is... I can't even say it. <laughs> Okay, the energy started to line up. Okay, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, hear, hear it. Fuck, here it fucking is. Oh my lord. Here it fucking is. There you go. Here's your fucking sign, Scorpios, okay? Here's just. Ay, ay, ay. I think this is the um, over over exhaustion i've been up for i don't know how many hours uh just busy with life so here is your sign scorpio whatever it is that you're intuitively whatever it is that your heart is asking you to do go ahead and get it done i'm cancer they broke your heart fuck them <laughs> this is either somebody towards you cancer or you towards somebody maybe somebody broke your heart or maybe somebody's in the process of breaking your heart and when or somebody's putting up an illusion or something and when the, you find out it's like you know what f this i'm out of here type of energy oh pisces you are giving too many fucks give zero give zero if there's a connection that ended or is there a connection that is ending because somebody has been um either lying or unfaithful or whatever it is um just kind of let it go just release it and again if you are a cross watcher and your person your ex is a pisces cancer or scorpio go ahead and take those cards exactly how they came out well guys that is all that i have for you for this week as always thank you for all the love and support and i will see you guys back next week sending every single one of you love strength and blessing take care love you bye